Hi everyone and welcome back after your holiday. I'm sure you've had a great time. You might hear that today's video is being filmed in a room that's a bit echoey. My voice might sound a little bit different. The focus of this home learning video is about understanding subtraction as difference. Later on when we come to do questions like 13 subtract 9, you'll be able to understand that as the difference between 9 and 13. You'll be able to count on from 9. So parents, that's what we're focusing on. Our first game is going to be about finding differences between two dice. So for example here, we know that the difference between 6 and 2 is 4. So the first game, you're going to have a look at the values on the two dice and just tell the adult that you're working with, what's the difference? So, what's the difference between 4 and 3? So, of course, if that's 4 squares, the top one, and that's 3 squares underneath, I can see the difference is a difference of 1. What's the difference between 5 and 2? So I can see here 5, and there's 2, and that's got a difference of 3. What's the difference between 6 and 6? Of course, there's no difference. They're the same. So the difference is 0. For your home learning, you're going to play Difference Connect 4. So just like in the examples before, you're going to roll two dice if you have them. You can use online ways of finding two dice if you need to. But get two dice, roll those two dice, and you're going to work out the difference. When you find the difference between the two dice, cross off that number on the Connect 4 grid. Let's say the first player rolls a 5 and a 2. The difference, as we saw before, is 3. So player number 1 crosses off a 3. They can choose any one they like. I'm going to go for this one here. Then it's the next player's turn. Let's say they roll a 6 and a 6. Well, the difference there is 0. So they're going to choose one of the zeros on the grid. Let's say they go for this one here. It's the first player's turn again. They roll 4 and a 3. The difference between 4 and 3 is 1. And so the first player is going to have to choose which one are they going to cross off. Let's say maybe they'll go for this one here. Now, players keep taking turns, rolling two dice, working out the difference, crossing off a number, until one player is the winner because they've managed to connect four. If you can get four squares in a row, whether they're in a line like this, or maybe one like this, or maybe even you manage to get four in a diagonal line, then you'll be the winner. Now, parents, you can adapt this game in different ways. If children are finding it easy to work out the difference between the dice, the main emphasis is more on the tactics. Which square do we choose to cross off and why do we choose that square, just like in Connect 4? If children are finding it quite difficult to work out the difference on the dice, you might just play, not playing competitively against each other, but finding those differences and seeing if you can work out the fastest way just to connect four, where you're both using the same colour. So the game can be adapted either more as a strategy game or just really focusing on finding the difference between those two dice. What would be great is if you can put in your home learning book either one of the games that you've had a go at, the sheet, and just pop it in your home learning book, or maybe a comment on how you got on with the game. That would be fantastic. Can't wait to see you back in class.